Hey guys, Jester here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Demonomicon of Igwilv. Now that first appeared in module S4, Lost Caverns of Socanth. We'll get back to this momentarily. But what I'm going to be talking about today comes out of Dragon Magazine. So, uh, Dragon Magazine number 359. Great artwork there, by the way. Love it. <clears throat> Talks about um, some of the... And, it, and this is a, a third and thir third and three point five edition uh, material that, that's in these Dragon magazines, um, so they're not first second edition canon by any means. But in any case, um, the Demonicon of Demonomicon of Igwilv uh, was supposed to contain uh, information on um, demons one through six. Uh, and then also some demon lords um, had some had the true names of certain demon lords and uh, some of the other uh, demons, and then um, of course it had this, you know the certain spells in, inside each copy. There's there's six copies, um, and the the six copies aren't true copies in the sense that that it's the same book six times. It's six versions of the same book um, all six had the same spells but the but they all contained information on different demons um, but in any case <clears throat> so uh, dragon or I'm sorry dungeon this is dragon yeah dragon 359 um, talked about some of the minor demons that supposedly was contained in um, the Demonomicon, um, and uh, and, the, and the, all these articles uh, concerning this out of the magazine was done by James Jacobs. Um, but in any case, uh, and then it it goes to list the other. Um, let's see how many of them? One, two, three, four. The other eight uh, Dragon Magazine articles uh, that contain the information on demon lords, and so you've got. <clears throat> Issue 329 uh, is Pazuzu, uh, 333 is Frazer Blue, 337 is Zugdemoy, 341 is Baphomet, 345 is Koshchichi, 349 is Dagon, 353 is Malkinthet, and 357 is Demigorgon. Now, basically, what they did is they just took um, the name of um, the Demon Omicron of Igwul to use as a the heading title of a set of articles that they were going to just basically um, tell you about the demon lords, th those specific demon lords, and um, what their cults are and thralls and, and what their their realm in the in the abyss is like, and so forth and so on. So basically, it's it's a um, it's a it, it's kind of like the write ups on the gods, only it's demon lords instead, um, done in the fashion of as if as if it was a, one of the copies of the Demonomicon of Igwolf. Although, like I said before, there was only six copies, eight. Um, demons here and so um, so in any case I, I actually don't own all of those copies that was listed there I don't own uh, 345 347 or three I'm sorry 345 349 or 357 which contain uh, not in not in uh, say which it contains um, Dagon Koshchichi and Demigorgon what I do have is the others. Um, you've got, uh, let's see what we got here. We've got Dragon 329 that shows you information about Baphomet. 
and then you've got 333, which shows you information on Fraz Erblu, which he is actually pictured on the front cover there. Great artwork. Love it. Then you've got 337, Zugnamoy. Great artwork, but I don't really care for the way they depicted her. I much prefer her other aspect as portrayed in um, Temple of Elemental Evil, but that's just me. Um, then you've got um, 341, which is... Um, Baphomet. And then you've got 353, which is Malcolm Fett. Um, again, great artwork on her and on the front cover. And so, basically, those are the magazines that contained the write-ups on those different um, demon lords. So, if you want, um, if you want to have stat blocks for them for them in your campaign, uh, information on the realm that they rule over, um, what some of their um, priests and thralls and so forth and so on would um, be like, and, and and that sort of thing. Um, great articles for that. Um, like I said, it's not really having anything to do with the Demonomicon, Demonomicon um, but that's just, like I said, that's just what they used as the title. Um, and then in issue 336 here, um, it has an article uh, that is a, about Igwolf and the Demonomicon. Um, and I don't, I don't like this article because um, it starts adding things to what was originally in, as far as the spells go, which was originally in um, S4 uh, uh, Lost Caverns of Socanth. Um, and I understand why it's it's a you know a new edition. They're wanting to get the, their spells that they've got in that edition incorporated into old school stuff. I get that, but I just don't like what they did to it. But the one thing that I wanted to bring up though is let's see here, what page is it? Ah, okay, so. As far as I know, Lost Cavern is a Socanth is the only first, second edition anything that actually had a copy of the Demonomicon of Igwolf in it. It was supposed to be the original. Uh, it, it did say that there was five other copies. Never mentioned where these copies were. It just said that there was five other copies. Um, this magazine. <coughs> Uh, says the Demonomicon of Crestable. Uh, and Crestable is uh, in right at the southern tip of Perrinland, um, right before you get to the Yaddle Mountains where uh, Lost Caverns of Socanth is. Um, and it just says that the um, that the Crestable Demonomicon um, had uh, let's see holds a number of expansive treaties on the ambitions, domains, cults, and servants of several abyssal personalities. The most notable of these figures are Fraz Erblu, Jubilex, Pazuzu, and Zugdamoy. Um, so supposedly all four of those demon lords are in this copy of the Demonomicon. Um, and, you know, if, if they were in there, I would think that the... Um, that their true names would be there as well, um, but maybe not the true names of all four of them. Don't know. Didn't really elaborate that far. Didn't say anything about whether their true names were in there or not. But um, but in any case, that's just more information about 
an actual supposed copy, but and again, like I said, this is third and three point five edition, so um, take it for what it's worth, given that it's not first and second edition. But what I like to think, because I'm old school and I like first and second edition and I like all the original stuff. Um, Book two in Lost Caverns of Socanth has all of the um, artifacts that you find in the in the module, including the uh, original Demonomicon of Igwolf. And what it says about that in here, well, actually, what it doesn't say about it in here, uh, but one would one would um, come to believe that. Because it didn't list any of the um, demons or or demon lords or anything in that was supposedly in the um, demonom demonomicon. What it says about it, if I can find it here real quick. It just says, this brass-bound book contains a treatise on the powerful, evil creatures of the lower planes. The dungeon master may include descriptive material and personal names as appropriate. Note that a creature's personal name is always kept secret as these can be used for magical purposes. Such creatures also have a common name, which is the only one they will reveal to others. In addition, each of the six copies known to exist contain the following spells lists of spells. So basically it was leaving up to the dungeon master what they wanted to put in this um, original copy. However, a little unspoken hint, um, at, the, at the beginning of this book it, it lists, um, a, it's basically a, a mini, monster, mini monster manual and um, your regular monsters you pretty much find or encounter in the module. However, one glaring exception is it lists four demon lords. It lists by name, uh, well, uh, it also has the Alu demon, um, and it has. A Kazmi, a Bar Igura, a Dretch, and Rudderkin. Okay, so you've got these minor demons that are uh, all throughout here. Um, can't remember if they encountered any of those. I think they might have, but for sure there was no, absolutely no. Um, demon lords in this module, but yet they include four of them in the monster descriptions. And those four are Frazar Blue, Gratz, Koshchishi, Blue. Oh, and Baphomet. Okay, so my personal feelings is that those four are the four demon lords, along with these minor demons that were in the original copy. Um, I would think, and again, this is just my personal belief, at the very least, the true names of Frazer Blue and Gratz 
would be in this as well. The reason for my saying this is that, well, for one, she captured Gratz. So in order for her to ca have captured him, I would it would be assumed that she would have had to have known his true name to be successful in doing so. And also, uh, the true name of Fraz Erblu, because her and Z uh, Zagig trapped Fraz Erblu uh, in Castle Greyhawk. Um, now, whether or not you want to include the true names of uh, Baphomet and Koshtashi, um, that's up to you as the individual DM. Um, I haven't really decided what I would do in, in, in my campaign concerning that. Um, also, uh, concerning the other um, the other demons, demon lords listed in um, the dragon magazines, um, I definitely would not include Malconthet. Malconthet was created specifically for um, Dungeon Magazine 112, Mar Castle, uh, created by Rob Kuntz, um, specifically for that series of, of dungeons. Um, and so for her, for her to be a part of the Demonomicon of Igwolf, I just personally would not include her in there whatsoever. Um, going back to, if I can find which one, uh, there we go. Going back to the list that's in here. I should have put, shouldn't have put it up too as soon as I did. Um, going back to the list here, you got uh, of the th uh, oh and. Curiously, Gratz is not included in this list. I guess there's enough information on him in other uh, dungeon and or dragon magazines concerning him with Igwolf uh, that they didn't feel they needed to put his information here. I don't know. But in any case, um, of the ones that was not listed in, um, or that was listed in, in Lost Caverns that are also listed here, I'm not going to go over them again, but the ones that remain... You have Pazuzu, Zugdemoy, uh, Dagon, Demigorgon, and again, like I said, Malkit that, which I'm not even going to entertain. Um, Demigorgon, I would not say that she would have his true name, maybe information on him, but not his true name. Um, the only, and, and the reason, my reasoning behind this is he was originally an Obreth lord, and he came back and defeated everybody. And this is, a, of course, I'm going by information that I found in a three, three, third slash 3.5 edition article in one of these magazines about all this stuff. So I don't know how much of that goes back to actual canon first, second edition. But if you just use the information that's in the, in the magazines, um, you have... Igwolf trying to um, have uh, Demigorgon defeated, and so she sends the PCs on a mission to gain the aid of Orcus and other uh, demon lords um, to attack him. And so if she had the ability and knowledge of his true name to be able to capture him, I would think, given her powers and everything, she had already done so. Um, so... Demigorgon, I I I would not include in any of those any of any any of the other five copies. Um, Zugdemoy, very possible, very possible. Um, if if nothing else, she had her true name and held it over her when it to influence her Zugdemoy. Uh, Helping Ayus in Temple of Elemental Evil. Again, you know that that's up to you as individual individual DM. Uh, me personally, I think I would include Zugdemoy, uh, his true name in there. Um, Pazuzu, um, 
very possible as well very possible as well um dagon um i just don't see her really having anything to do with dagon um now there is uh another article in another magazine and it's not a printed magazine uh because dungeon magazine dungeon magazine stopped print at 150 um so then they then they started doing online versions and so you've got edition number 156 in um in pdf format and what it says and, and it, it just so happens to be about dagon a, a cult of that well dagon and, and a, a cult of dagon and in one of the uh, cultists chambers you find three books and it says uh, several you find several of the old books on the bookcases are truly ancient treaties on demons and demonology. These include Daemons and Their Ilk by Arden Fane, Baliquist's Abyssal Numerology and Symbolism as Applied to Mortal Conjurations, and even an abridged translation of Igual's Demonomicon. Now, there was, I believe, in I'm not sure if it's cannon fire or, or some some something that that lists this as as a um, um, resource they use to write their art of uh, the, their article. It you it used this um, as an example or as a as a resource, and it actually stated that there was a uh, an abridged copy of um, uh, of Dagon in the Demonomicon or something to that effect. I, I can't remember exactly how they said it, but in any case um, I think it, I think it was the, or the, the module there that was in uh, Dungeon 156 was done a great disservice by the author of that um, module or adventure to not elaborate whatsoever on what the contents of this abridged version of this of, of, of the demonomicon was. Um, I can't personally see Dagon being in this abridged version unless it was just solely information on who he is for the purposes of the cult. Um, for sure, his true name would not appear in there because, um, I mean, if, if you've got a, cult, a group of cultists and they've got the true name of the god they worship, then they could have power over that, over him, and therefore that would kind of defeat the idea of the cult, the cult's supposed to worship the god, not try to trap the god. So, uh, for certain, there's no true name of Dagon in that copy. Um, if you know, if that even exists, again, DM's option. Uh, if if I'm running this, it's not going to have, it's not going to have an abridged copy of of the Demonomicon of Igwolf in it. Um, or if it does, that's just going to have to be a very, very dumbed-down version of, like I said, just information on the cult and the god itself. Just the type that you would find in a, you know, a, a religious text about the god that, that, that you're worshipping. Um, so... The um, given that there was no more copies in any print, first and second edition, um, 
that just leads me to come to one of two conclusions. Either they wanted the dungeon masters to um, create their own material, or they were going to, like they did on so many other occasions, and they kind of uh, uh, over piled their plate like one does at Thanksgiving and never got around to it. Uh, either is a possibility because uh, they did a lot of the latter. Um, so in any case, that's what I got to, to say about the Demonomicon of Igwulv concerning dun Dungeon and or Dragon magazines, um, which I'm basically featuring in my next few videos is just information on different dungeon magazines and dragon magazines. Um, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this edition. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section. Make sure you hit the notification bell, the like and subscribe buttons, and make sure you share with all your friends. And until next time, and as always, see you soon.